Vanguard 2 was launched on February 17, 1959 at 3.55 p.m. UTC from Launch Complex 18A at Cape Canaveral. It was launched by the U.S. Naval Research Lab's Vanguard rocket, which had faced four failures after the successful launch of Vanguard 1. While Vanguard 1 had been a mere 1.47 kilograms, the satellite on this launch as well as the four failed launches was 10 kilograms. Vanguard 1 had been beaten to orbit by both Sputnik 1 as well as America's own Explorer 1, but it nevertheless scored its own unique first, the first solar-powered satellite in orbit. With Vanguard 2, the Naval Research Lab aimed for a different first, the first weather satellite. Vanguard 2 had an optical scanner with two photocells meant to distinguish clouds from land and sea. It recorded around 50 minutes of data per orbit, relayed that data in a minute, and then erased and rewound the tape recorder for the next orbit. It had batteries to continue this for 19 days. This cloud data was rudimentary and the satellite spin stabilization axis was not optimal, but it was the start of satellite weather observation which has been one of spaceflight's many beneficial contributions to daily life. Vanguard 2 had an apoapsis of 2,953 kilometers and a periapsis of 560 kilometers. Its inclination was 32.87 degrees, so it could only make observations up to 45 degrees north latitude. It is still in orbit, and study of its orbit has provided data on drag from the trace atmosphere. It is expected to remain in orbit for around 300 years. And with that, thank you for watching this mission profile of Vanguard 2.